Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Delicious Season 3. Of course, you all know it. My name is Chef Ali Youssef, and today I'm having Mariam from Blogger. I Food know what Blogger. to eat. Yes. I know what to eat, Blogger. And of course, today she's supposed to ask me what I'm going to cook. Yes, I want to know what you are cooking for us today. It's, it's a dish, actually. I wouldn't know which cuisine. Why? Because I had dreamed about it and I have made it once. And this is the second time I'm going to cook this. I would call it chicken cake. Well, food dreams, that's my best kind of dreams, right? Never thought about it. Well, before we start, let me show you my ingredients. Interesting. I've got breast, chicken breast. I striped them and I have one piece of onion and I have some potatoes, sweet paprika, and I have coriander powder, chicken powder, chili flakes, chili powder, uh, tomato paste, fresh tomatoes, garlic, garlic powder, and I got oil, salt and pepper, and lemon. All right, All right. before I start, I want to put the, the potatoes for at least, doesn't matter, 10 minutes or whatever, just to have them half cooked in the oven. So you don't boil them, you put them in the oven? Yes. Okay. You think that putting them in the oven that it will hold the texture better than uh, boiling? Sorry. Okay. Yes. Why? Because I'm gonna put them later along with the chicken. So a little bit of oil, so get life easier in there. They don't stick. By the way, how long this the whole process of making this dish it takes? I would say 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So yeah. it's good for quick it, dinner uh, if you're tired. Yes, it something. depends how fast you okay. are. Okay. Right. Put that one there. Put it on. 190. And then from here we can do the marination. Before we, we go there, we'll take a short break. Get things ready and we're back. Right, we've got the chicken. First, we have to do the chicken. First, I'm gonna have half lemon and two it. So, you're, you're a type of chef that you like to use your hands in doing the uh, squeezing of the lemon, everything. Because some people, I can see them, they are using tools to do things quicker uh, and, and for me, like, okay, use your hand. What's wrong with that, you know? I just make sure it's empty and dry. Yeah. <laughs> right, I will have a few cloves here of garlic. What I like about the ingredients, there is two types of garlic in it, which is garlic powder and the real garlic. So I'm already, I'm in love with what's gonna happen now. don't have to be uh, fine chopped. And then we just add salt and pepper. And then we mix it. Meanwhile, put the oven on so you get things done quicker. I don't think we need this anymore. All I'll right. take it away. I have a question, Chef. I see many people are using sea salt and normal salt. Do you think that it will make any difference in the taste of the food or to, it doesn't matter? To me, I would say no, mm. because salt is salt. Mm. It's just the, actually it depends on, on what you're cooking. Okay. But the, still, in the end, it's salt is salt okay. to me. Right, just put a little bit of oil. I want to keep it for at least five minutes okay. to get things, uh, to get the seasoning of chili. Okay, do you think it, if you marinate the chicken like one night over 24 hours, it will make it better? It or will, it doesn't matter? It does, it, it does, does. Okay. it does. It, it gives you uh, actually more flavors. Okay. Because it's been there for a whole night. Okay. Now I'm going to put the oil here, the rest of it. Why? Because I need to get it hot. So we can put the chicken here. This is the mo most secret I have here. Got 
onion, got garlic, got tomatoes, here, may I have the knife please? Yes. Thank you very much. I need a little bit of skin of lemon to add more zest in there. So that's enough. And squeeze the rest of the lemon. And of course, going to add the rest of the ingredients there. Chili flakes. Garlic powder. Chili powder. A lot of chili, huh? Yes. We are not sharing this with sweet, anyone. Sweet paprika. I love my food. Coriander powder. Chicken powder. And finally, the... Tomato paste. Tomato. Tomato paste. Okay, and a little bit of water just to help it to get mixed inside. Because you know, this, if there's no liquid, it will not blend. Right, we'll get this all together and then we'll get back to you when it's done. Hi, Zissi, everybody. Also, Mariam, so what happened, right? We got everything blended. We got juice of uh, the whole spices and some tomatoes, garlic, and onion because I don't want to uh, roast or yeah. do anything in there. I got you. Me, now the chicken is there and the oil is very hot. Let's put that in there. So do you cook it on a slow fire or like high uh, temperature? Uh, How do you prefer? I prefer high, uh, high okay. because it will go slowly in the oven okay. later. So you just like burn it a bit, or like have a, a bit of heat on it, and the oven will take care of the rest. Absolutely. All right. Here, need to get the chicken done first. So I see they are doing this with steaks, but not with chicken. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Really? You, uh, yeah. I dream about it. I didn't oh, see yeah, that Oh yeah, I forgot on that you dreamed about <laughs> it. Yeah. As you see, that one is ready. This is ready. At the same time, I'm going to take the potatoes out because it must be ready. We cannot no. try one before you put it there, right? No, because uh, this is not cooked. Oh. That's half cooked. You just want to make sure if the potatoes are good quality or not. You're That's hungry. <laughs> Always hungry. Right. Um, how, long, how long are you doing this food blogging? Uh, um, that will be at least uh, seven years, yes, 2013. Okay, seven years, wow. Yeah. What's your favorite cuisine? Ooh, seafood. Seafood. I I'm sorry, I know you're cooking chicken now, but yeah, I love seafood. No, no, seafood, I love yeah. seafood too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No offense to you. You're In fact, I would say this also can go with shrimps, maybe. Okay, so this yes. can go the same ingredients, everything? It's exactly the same. It's okay. just uh, the chicken powder, you okay. change it to seafood powder. Or okay, that's good. It, it changed the whole flavor. Okay. Um, if it was, you can change a lot of it. Hmm. You, can, you can chip it uh, instead of this... Uh, Tomato most of, paste? No, no, no. The other uh, spices, okay. you put basil there with the oregano. All right. It will change the whole flavor yes. into Italian taste. Okay, more. I love fresh oregano so. and fresh basil. I agree. This can be done with pesto sauce, though? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. With pesto, with some uh, mayo also, would be, mayo, okay. be great. And or pesto with some dried tomatoes. Okay. As you see it. So you're a sizzling lady, huh? Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, for me today, you really have to impress me with, with this because I'm into meat. I'm yeah. very hard to please with chicken. But because you put a lot of garlic, that was like, mm, okay. Now I, I'm um, sold with the red onion also. No, uh, you won't taste it. You know why? Yeah. It's different taste. Now I'm bummed again. 
Really? So, so how long you, you can keep it on high temperature? Um, depends. On, on flames, okay. it takes just five to ten minutes. Okay. okay. But on uh, electronic, it will take forever. <laughs> so you don't like electronic ovens? I personally don't. Okay. And I will not give any compliment to anyone using this yeah. or asking me to use it. Okay. Because I personally don't like it. How do okay. I lie? I don't lie. I don't okay. hide. <laughs> I found it easier to clean the electronic oven and maybe it's more safe. I don't know. Yeah, but still. Okay. On, on, on the gas one, you can just put uh, alum, uh, aluminum foil. Okay. And then you change it weekly. Ah, okay. Yeah. Easier. All right. You don't clean, you don't wipe. <laughs> Right, I'm going to add the potatoes. Ow, that was hot. Can't remember putting it there. Right, potatoes. Didn't see that coming, did it? Yes. <laughs> I thought this will go here together in the oven. It will, mm. but need to be cooked first. Okay. I, 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 know, I don't know why here. I'm not allowed to taste the potato yet. I need to, to, to check before it goes there. It's not done yet. <laughs> now we're adding the sauce in there. Seems uh, like a, a type of pasta thingy because I see this a lot with the pasta they put the sauce afterwards and but it but it smells so good so far so, so good so far i will keep i will simmer it for about maybe 15 minutes okay. because it's electronic okay i have to mention that and of course uh forgot to mention for you as well hmm. we do the shopping actually online you okay. see the whole ingredients and everything okay like on waffle waffle okay. waffle app it's a yeah, great I heard so, about yeah. it. Yes, they do a lot of uh, show, a lot of uh, products. They have online food and non-food items. Absolutely, that's but I never got said, everything. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that the food is going popular right now. Well, it is. Okay. Especially online because you don't have to drive and go and okay. wait, queue in the line to pay. So you tried them before, and you seen they are fresh and they are quick with delivery, and you don't have to go to the supermarket, no, so correct? So you don't have to go okay. nowhere, okay. nowhere. Right, we keep this in a little, we lower the heat a little bit. We'll leave it for about 10 minutes and then we'll get back to them and tell them what next about that. As you see, we're done and it's ready. Mm, okay. not, not really actually. Okay, you I can put it in the oven. Okay. Why? No, why? Because I didn't show you the cheese okay. earlier. Now, what we're gonna do, gonna put it in the Pyrex and we send it to Haven because I don't want to flip it there because I don't want to put much sauce as you see it's it's too saucy All right. for me I, I will I don't think I will ever taste so the experience was very good it was uh, exploring for me and even the people uh, who are following me, they loved it, they enjoyed it, they felt like they are with me on the journey. So yeah, I, I actually enjoyed it. I would do it again. It's very exhausting, but I would do it again, yeah. Now this is the cheese pyramid, right? It's mozzarella cheese. Okay. Make sure you turn this for the cheese because you know it's mozzarella, then you know, it's it's more beautiful on a pizza. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like you are doing a, a, another type of bechamel or, or lasagna or pizza, but this is the first time I can see it on a like a saucy chicken dish that is chopped. Well, I don't know what happened on that dream. Okay. I saw this in the dream. So you saw this also in the dream? Uh, everything. Okay, and this quantity of cheese also? Not the quantity, <laughs> but it's what it is. Okay. I mean, yes, the... Uh, Cheese. Actually, there was a viral video going around uh, speaking of your uh, life story or something. Which video? I do a lot of videos. Which <laughs> one? <laughs> I think I saw it on an Instagram. Speaking of uh, cooking, uh, no, uh, food. How we start on food blogging. Okay, uh, yeah. 
I think the one you meant it was maybe Franco. How was my relationship with the uh, yes, food yes. with Franco, Franco? Franco. Okay, this is because Franco I remember this by latest video. Franco, the, the, you remember uh, like back in the 90s, you, you taste shawarma that is small and the Nepalese bread and the chicken, sorry, the, the beef was very juicy and it tastes so good and then you don't have to put many sauces on it to cover it. That back, that 90s taste, it came back to this shawarma Franco. And I loved it because we don't get to taste those amazing meat in the shawarma anymore. Most of them are like, they change the meat and become different. That's gone there. Sorry to cut you off. That's gone there for oh, okay. at least 15 minutes, yes. 15 minutes, okay. 15 minutes because you don't want to burn the cheese because the chicken is already ready. I always admire a person who likes to decorate his dish because I know that our moms don't and because we know how it tastes like our mom's food, but when you go to a restaurant or you try Chef Ali first time, the, the decoration is most important. And the, and the good thing that you are using a lot of spicy really? peppers, chilies. Yes, see? And that's, that's my dish. I know it looks a mess. Looks uh, like a, uh, I would say, cat fight. Okay. It doesn't yet. It <laughs> but doesn't. it doesn't taste like. And that's is. Okay. If I left you some something to eat. Okay. Where's the chicken? Yes. Just make sure the potatoes are ready or not. Okay, so I think the potato is a bit undercooked, but it's fine. It's still, you can. Is it good? What? Very good. Is it? The chicken is very good. I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. No, no, I love it. Wait, let me try with chili now. You put chili, so I have to try the chili. The chilies and the beetroots, I pickled them also at home. Mm. See, this is this one, I have it like a french fries. I love the pickled chili, so I, I love your choice. You're the same as me. So I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to have you. <laughs> I'm lucky to have this food. One minute. One last try with the chili. Hit the spot. Bingo? Yeah. Great. Hmm? You want to tell them your feedback? Okay. So imagine this with me. It's like you're having a chicken Bechamel, but it's not macaroni. It's not the macaroni, the usual one. You get this, the local taste. It's not very like Western. I can taste it's very homemade, very uh, uh, it's, it's home cooked meal. And the chicken is very tender. I don't know, maybe the so you cooking it in a sauce made it that way. It's very tender and it's very tasty. The, it's not like, oh, chicken dropped in the sauce. No, it's, it's yes. all mixed together, cooked together. The cheese made a very uh, nice and uh, nice and delicious ending to the and finishing to the dish. So for me, I would love to have this with more spices. Maybe, as you said, I would love to see basil, and or maybe we try mixing the with tomato, the and some yeah, pie. the pesto and tomato. So if you mix it, maybe we'll have more kicks in it. But it is, it is, it's like having a saucy chicken shawarma and bechamel texture. So well done, Chef. I'm very lucky that this is the first time trying your food and I'm amazed for it. And I cannot wait for to taste it even more later with a spicy Thai sauce. Well, enjoy it. I'm glad you liked it, actually. And I hope you all enjoyed. That was it, actually, for today's episode. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed my cooking with Mariam. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And watch us for next episode next Monday. Thank you and goodbye.